In this video, I'll talk about how dimensional analysis works for area and volume conversions. And you need to be a little bit careful about how this works. Okay, so let's do a, an example, fairly straightforward example first, before we get a little more complicated. Okay, so let's convert four square meters to square centimeters. And you might be tempted to go, well, there's 100 centimeters in a meter, so four square meters must be four times 100 or 400 square centimeters. But that is not correct. Okay, and we can see that it's not correct if we think about what four square meters looks like. Here's a picture of four square meters. If each of these red squares is one meter squared, one square meter, then if I put four of them together in a bigger square, that is four square meters. Okay, what four square meters is not is four meters squared, which would be this blue square here. That's, that's much too big. This is what four square meters is up here. Okay, and now if we kind of look at this picture, we can see, well, if I've got a hundred centimeters in this meter, and another 100 centimeters in this meter. And similarly going up, the, up, the, up this length here, 100 centimeters and another 100 centimeters. Okay, I'm gonna have 200 centimeters for this length, 200 centimeters for this length. 200 times 200 is not 400. Okay, so we can see from the picture that this, this answer is not correct. But what is the answer? Okay, let's use dimensional analysis to figure out what the answer is. Remember how dimensional analysis works. We write down what we're trying to convert and then we write a series of fractions that will convert the square meters into square centimeters. Okay, so let's do that. Here's what I need to multiply by. And let's see what I've done here. So I've multiplied by 100 centimeters divided by one meter. Okay, and that's because this is, this is equivalent to one. I've got 100 centimeters in one meter, so I can just multiply by one. I'm not gonna change what I'm looking at. I'm just gonna change the measurement units. Okay, and the reason I put one meter in the denominator is because I want to cancel with the square meters that are up here. Okay, but this won't get me all the way because I've got square meters here and only meters here. So I need to do this again. So I've got square meters in the denominator that I can cancel with the square meters in the numerator. Okay, so that's why I've multiplied by 100 centimeters over one meter a second time. Okay, and that's what you kind of have to pay attention to when you're doing an area conversion. You need to do the, the length conversions twice. If you think about the picture, it's because to calculate area, you multiply one length by another length. Similarly, when you're doing the area conversion using dimension analysis, you multiply by the, the conversion fraction twice, once, twice. And let's do the canceling to make sure that we've done it the right way. Square meters is gonna cancel with meters times meters in the denominator. And I'm left with what am I left with? In the top, in the numerator, I've got four times 100 times 100. So that's 40,000. And then what are my units? I've got centimeters times centimeters. In other words, square centimeters. And in the denominator, I've just got one times one. And I don't have any units because they've, they've canceled. The meters canceled in both places with the square meters up here. So there's my answer, 40,000 square centimeters. And we can check that that's the right 
answer, if we look back at, back at our picture, remember I said 100 centimeters, another 100 centimeters, so 200 centimeters is one length, 200 centimeters is the other length, and 200 times 200 comes to 40,000. Okay, let's work with a slightly more complicated example where we've got different, we've got imperial measurements and, and metric measurements. So let's convert 0.4 square miles to square kilometers. And we're gonna use the fact that one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. Okay, so the steps. Write down what you're trying to convert, 0.4 square miles and then multiply by a series of fractions that will allow you to cancel out the units that you don't want and leave the units that you do want. So this is how this works for this example. So I'm multiplying by 1.6 kilometers over one mile and it's this way up because I want to cancel the mile here with the square miles up here. I have to do it twice because we're talking about area. So I've done another 1.6 kilometers over a mile here. Let's do the canceling. Square miles cancels with miles times miles. What am I left with? 0.4 times 1.6 times 1.6 in the top. In the numerator that comes to 1.024. What are my units? Kilometers times kilometers. In other words, square kilometers. And there's nothing left in the bottom in the, new, in the denominator except one, which doesn't make any difference to the calculation. So there's my answer. 0.4 square miles is 1.024 square kilometers. Okay, final example. What about volume? Well, with area, we had to multiply by length conversion fractions twice. With volume, you have to multiply by length conversion fractions three times. So if I wanna convert 10 cubic inches into cubic centimeters, using the fact that one inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters, then this is how this is gonna work. Write down my 10 cubic inches and then multiply by a series of fractions so that I can cancel the units I don't want and be left with the units I do want. Here's my three fractions, 2.54 centimeters in the numerator, one inch in the denominator, and it's that way up because I want to cancel my cubic inches up here with inches times inches times inches. I'm left with 10 times 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54, which comes to 164. What are my units? Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, cubic centimeters. Nothing left in the denominator for me to worry about because the inches are all canceled. Okay, so a couple of questions to answer. The first one goes with the dimensional analysis that we were doing in part one of the video. Tenzin was fishing and caught a sailfish. And the sailfish took out 90 meters of line in three seconds. So it was swimming away from the boat pretty fast. Question is, how fast was it swimming in kilometers per hour? Okay, so use dimensional analysis to solve that problem. And then the second question, Gretchen measured the square lid of a box very precisely and calculated the area as 64,516 square millimeters. What is the area in square inches? So this is gonna be an area conversion using the ideas that we just looked at.